How to Pool Mine Zcash on Supernova.cc with NHEQ Miner. First, we want to go to Supernova.cc, S U P R N O V A.cc, and we'll scroll down to the first listing in our pools, which is Zcash, and we will click on Start Mining. This will open the Zcash mining page, zec.supernova.cc. And when we get to this page, we're going to want to go up to Guest and scroll down to either Login or Sign Up. Sign Up if you don't have an account. If you have an account, go to Login. So I'll go to Login. I'll type in my email address. And then enter my password. And click Login. This will take me to my pool hash rate page. I'm going to want to go down to Help, Getting Started. I've already logged in, done the first step. Second step is to create a worker, which will be used by the miner to log in. I'm going to click on worker. And then here I've got to enter in my worker name. I already got that set up here. So I'm going to copy my name here and my password here and put a password in there. Then I'm going to click on add new worker, which will add the worker. Now I've got my worker added, so I can go back to help, getting started. Next step is to download a miner. I want the Windows version of the nice hash miner. So I'm going to click on download now. It will open up the GitHub page, which then I can download one of these. Once it's finished, I can go to Open Containing Folder, open my Downloads folder. I'm going to extract all and extract the zip folder. I'll enter this folder, and this is where I'm going to open Command Prompt. So I'm going to hold down Shift and then right click and go down to Open Command Window here. Now what I want to do is I want to edit this here so that it has my information in it. I'm just going to copy this down here and I'll just change it so it is like the one above. Now what you want to do is your worker, if we go back here to the worker list here, we have a worker login here. So you want to copy your worker login, put that into worker. Where the one is here, you want to copy the worker name, put that over the one, and after this dash P is where you want to put your password. So you want to copy the worker password, drop that right under there. Now I have a 4 core 8 threaded processor. They recommend using 75% of your processor, so I'm going to put 6 here as this is what they actually recommend. If we go to this GitHub page here and scroll down to the bottom, note, if you have a 4-core CPU with hyper-threading enabled, total 8 threads, it is best to run with only 6 threads. Experimental benchmarks shows that the best results are achieved with 75% threads utilized. Now you can try 7 threads, it might work better, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead for this test run and use 6. So I've got my 6 here after T for threads. Now I'm going to copy this command into my miner. I'm going to paste it here, hit enter, and it'll start mining. You can see accepted share, accepted share. If we go back to our dashboard, we can see our current hash rate and we can see our coins coming in here in the unconfirmed balance of Zcash coins. Your hash rate will slowly increase. You can see it's pretty slow right now, but it'll get going.
Now, right now, we're only mining test coins. These coins aren't actually worth anything. They have no value whatsoever. But on the 28th, but on the 28th, the Genesis block will be launched, and these coins will actually be worth something. So it is worth getting into Supernova now, creating your account, downloading the miner, testing it out. Now be sure on the 28th or just before the 28th, just before the Genesis block is launched, to go and update the miner and make sure that you have the most recent up-to-date miner. So here we can see our hash rate is increasing and our coins are increasing. There should be an NVIDIA GPU miner out in possibly the next day or two. Uh, when there is, I will try to do an update video to show you how to use the NVIDIA GPU miner with Supernova. And there should be an AMD uh, GPU miner released eventually also. When that is released, I will do another update video to show you that miner also. Now you should be able to mine with a CPU and a GPU on the same system. I'll have to test that out, of course, once the GPU miners are out, but it should work. should not be a problem. If you have a good CPU and some GPUs, you can run them all together and increase your hash rate. So if we take a look at the hash rate, we can see the hash rate is 1.98 here, and the solutions per second is 3.73. Here the hash rate is reported as 3.23, which is pretty much the solutions per second. It's probably just a little bit delayed on what I'm seeing here. Now mining will start off slow. There's a slow start where the reward starts off uh, lower, I think at 25% at what it will be uh, by the time it gets to full speed. So if you don't get in on the first day, you don't have to worry too much. Uh, the block reward will increase slightly over time until it reaches the top uh, block reward. Now we're up to 5.5 .5 solutions per second. So I hope you can give Zcash a try. Uh, it could be very lucrative. Uh, we don't know yet. We'll have to wait until it comes out and see what happens when it does hit the open markets but it's probably worth giving it a try. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.